Wednesday. <laughs> I hope you all are enjoying your day today. So I have a layout for you that's just a layout. Just a layout. Um, Laura Rumple, who is an amazingly talented girl, is hosting a sketch challenge at the Speak of Mom Scraps Facebook group. And I loved her sketch. You can see it at the beginning of the um, video. And I'm also going to go ahead and pop it up here on screen in a second. So I decided I wanted to play along with it. So I pulled out my Secret Not Secret Kit Club for February, which I've only made a couple of cards with. And I decided that I was going to go ahead and create a layout with this sketch for the sketch challenge. So I've chosen my photo and I'm going to go ahead and create a bunch of layers uh, on my background. I'm going to start with this lovely, lovely Prima paper. So my Secret Not Secret Kick Club for uh, February, you can find it in the... Um, in one of my haul videos, I think, yeah, because I do have an unboxing for it, and it's all purple prima fabulousness. And then I went ahead and purchased them, well, most of the Misty Mountain collection from Kaiser Craft, and I kind of just married those two kits together, and they work fabulously. So I'm getting this piece of paper because I want to use the inside uh, to map my photo. And I decided I wanted to do lots and lots of layers. So these Prima papers are A4, which means they are 8 by 12, I think. So you cannot cut them down to do 8.5 by 11. You have to put something underneath them, which totally fine. I have no problem with that. So what I'm doing now is I know I want to do a doily, and I know I want to map my photo with the rest of this purple paper that I gutted. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just decide where I want these elements to be because if you looked at the sketch you saw there were like all these fun like paint drips that come down out of the photos. So I wanna make sure that the paint drips uh, come down out of where my photo is gonna be. So I'm gonna mark my photo with pencil. And then um, I'm going to just use this top piece and I'm going to get to work on my mixed media. So part of my kit this month in February was this um, Shimmers product, which is a new to me shiver, Shimmers product. It's an inkling and it's in Plum Crazy. Um, and I really love the color. The color is amazing. I don't know how I feel about these paints that are dry and then you add water to them. I don't know if I'm not using them right, if there's a trick to it. Um, because I just feel like it kept, I don't know, I just wasn't happy. I don't, it was hard to, you know what, I am like a simple girl. I'm used to the little shimmer spots where you just like open them up and they're done. And you just give them a stir and go. And this one you... And you have to hit it with water and for me the water just kept like sucking down into the rest of the paint and then it was dry so I kept having to add more water and add more water and add more water and add more water uh, so I don't know I don't know if I like it or not I love the color and they don't sell this color in um, in other paint pots so this is an inklings and it is the color Plum Crazy, but I just kind of have to add water to it. The nice thing is because it's an Inklings and it's just water reactive, it wiped up super duper easy. So don't worry about the purple paint on my desk because it just came right up without a problem. I just actually sprayed it with my little Mr. Bottle. So I'm just adding the paint and letting it drip down. And then I have a little piece of copy paper that I'm using just to catch the bottoms of the drips. And I think... I like it like that, but I feel like I want some different, more color. Um, so I'm just going to keep messing with the colors, but in the end, I end up grabbing my uh, Angel Wings paint, which is a shimmers paint, and I love this color. It's like this white iridescent -y color. And so what I ended up doing was I ended up going ahead and just getting it into the still wet purple paint and getting it to drip down too. So I have some of the angel's wings and then some of the plum crazy inklings and I just kind of let them do their thing together. Um, 
this Angel's Wings Shimmers Pots, these little pots of paint are my favorite. I love them so much. They're, I'm almost out of the Angel's Wings. I almost used the entire pot, so I'm going to be visiting the Speaker Mom's Scrap Store for some more soon. I'm, I just know it. Now I'm going to clean up my mess, and then we will go ahead and continue with the next messy part of our life. So I did end up hitting my shimmers paints there with a little bit of a heat gun just to dry it well before I started adhering um, the sequins. So these are Spiegel Mom Scrap sequins. They are one of the new mixes that she created to match the Paper House Productions lines, Marvelous and Color Wash. And I am using the teeny tiny little purple sequins that are in the kit, which means they're too small for me to use with my Zot Spling. So I am using my blue fine liner bottle, which is the really teeny tiny one. And I'm going ahead and just going to stick and plunk these sequins on all the little drips till I like the way it looks. So I set that aside to dry and now I am going to start working on my background, uh, which is also going to be just a little bit messy. Um, so this is score tape. Everyone, I have had lots and lots of my YouTube subscriber, subscribers comment or ask me about this tape. So this is called score tape. It is the quarter inch width. I buy it at a website called scrapbookpow.com. Um, and I love their website for adhesive because they carry lots of different brands and styles. And if you place a $25 order on their website, you get free shipping, which is just a bonus. So I am using the score tape to get this first background paper kind of adhered really well. And now I'm going to pull out some copper gilding flakes. These gilding flakes uh, came in my Secret Not Secret Kit Club, and they are from um, the company that creates Glitter Glitter Kiss. I think the name of the company might be Glitter Kiss. Um, but they also have a product called Glitter Kiss, so I'm not sure. Anyway, um, so I'm going to go ahead and use this lovely copper flakes. And all you do is you smear some glue onto your paper and then you use just a brush like that that you can see it up there. I have two brushes that are dedicated to gilding flakes and you kind of smear the glue around and then you take the the flakes, you kind of push them into the glue, you let them dry and then you take another clean brush and just kind of like flick them off. See, just kind of flick them off. And then you let it all dry and it's fabulous, just fabulous. So my gilding is done and dry and I'm just gonna take, I'm just gonna add lots of score tape to the back of my purple piece and add it to my layout. This sketch challenge is open in the 15 minutes to scrap with Spiegel Mom Scraps um, Facebook group. It is good, it's open till Saturday and there's a prize involved too. So. This video will go up on Wednesday, which means you could have a couple days to play along if you like. Um, you saw the sketch at the beginning, and um, I want to say I'll link the Facebook group below, but I'll forget. So if I know I will. I just know I will. So go ahead and leave me a message if you're interested, and uh, I will go ahead and get that Facebook group to you in the comments. Um, so I just I forget everything, you guys. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with my layout here. I'm going to adhere down all of my photos and the doilies. And that would be the completion of the layout, right? That's what the sketch shows. But it's me and I need more. So <laughs> I'm going to uh, create some little clusters and add my title. So some of these die cuts are from... The Kaiser Craft Misty Mountain Die Cut Pack, and some of them are from my Secret Not Secret Kit Club, and I don't know which is which because I mixed them up. So that little acetate piece is from my Secret Not Secret Kit for sure, and I'm going to kind of use it up as my title. Uh, it's kind of a little bit hard to see on this 
uh, spread and I don't know why, but um, if there is a butterfly that, this is a photo of my niece, and she has a butterfly, and the butterfly is, it landed on her finger, um, and she's just holding it there on her finger, and I stopped a photo, this was in July when I was visiting the, the, them, and I just think it was the coolest, coolest photo. Um, so I, there's no real story. There's nothing to go with it. It's just an amazing picture that needed to be scrapbooked because sometimes that happens. I love photography. So occasionally I will have photographs that I take that are just beautiful photographs and I want to scrapbook them and I want to document them. Um, and some, I have a traveler's notebook that I do with, that I do a lot of that in, but occasionally um, I also need one that is in a bigger layout. And this just worked so well with the sketch and with everything. So, yes, be sure to stop over at the Spiegel Mom Scraps group. Play along with our sketch. I'm adding lots and lots of little bits and pieces and butterflies. So, lastly, I pulled out these purple flowers. These flowers, I received them. They are in the Click Kit shop. Um, they're not part of a kit or anything. Anyone can go ahead and order them. And if you, you can use my code, Sarah Scraps, all one word, all capital letters, to save a little bit off of your order as well. So all I'm doing is cutting the tops off of these flowers, adding a little one of the blings glue dots, and then pushing them down into the layout. And I think that they turned out super, super cute. I love how um, they kind of match my layout, but they provide some texture, and they just, they're really sweet little flowers. They come out, and they're very, I think they're very inexpensive. Uh, no, I know they are. They're very inexpensive in the Click Kit shop, and it comes with two kinds. There's a purple one, and then there's like a peachy pink, so I used the purple one on this layout, just the purple ones, and that will be my finishing touch as I smack my head off my camera. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you will um, like it. And thank you, thank you, thank you. I have been getting so many new subscribers the last couple of weeks, and I'm so excited and so happy to have you all here. So thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Bye.